Hello everyone. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a social security number is, uh, it's a nine digit pin number which is given to every citizen, uh, whoever is interested to do any kind of activity that is make and back account, make a bank account or rent an apartment, doesn't matter to buy a car, a phone, the, and the main purpose of your social security number is to maintain a credit score and what a credit score is now. Uh, a credit score uh, it's something that when you go buy something for yourself and when you have a good, good credit score it's beneficial for you and how to create a good uh, credit score now uh, when you get something on your uh, EMI or whatever loans or something when you pay back your loans on time when you end up on a specific date and in a good way in ease that means your credit score is getting increased day by day and uh, through your social security number you should also pay enough amount of SS in taxes and at the end of your uh, work times that is apparently your retirement uh, they give you back benefits on the way your credit score was and uh, your social security number is a really private thing so in California there is a rule that you should not carry your social security card with you just carry something which is having your social security in you because it is one single number which is having uh, access to all of your information like your name your place of birth, your uh, date of birth, your sex, your race, Others. anything else. Uh, yeah, and uh, it is said that once somebody has access to your social number, he can buy a car on your name, he can make a bank account, he can uh, rent an apartment, or he can apparently buy White House on your name, to be honest. So it is so private to you. And limitations of having a social security number. First thing, identity theft. Mm -hmm. That simply means somebody else guessed up your social security number. Uh, it is said that social security number is so private that if somebody has an access to it and if you want to change it, it is really very difficult for you to change your social security number. One amongst thousand is valid to change this credit number and which will also lead you to delete all your credit score which you have made. It is going to end up everything. It is a new start, a new credit history on that. So social security number is a part of big data uh, coming to the topic. Uh, <laughs> the main thing, I was just trying to explain to you what social security is apparently, apparently is. So a big data, what is big data? As you all know, so many, so many people have told, it's a collection of information in simple words. So your social security number, there is a file called resemblance file in uh, United States government. <laughs> you can go ahead and ask me. Ask me. I'm just, I'm just telling you that we don't, we don't, we don't have one. As a okay, I can, okay, I can, I can <laughs> say you on that as well. So once let me uh, complete this and I get back to you. Okay. So I was saying that the resemblance file has social security numbers of each and every citizen of America, and uh, it has all just as I said, it has all information like name, race, and etc. etc. So, uh, so coming to her question. You don't have a social security number because you are a student F1, which is an international person. So uh, if you want a social security number, you'll have to apply for it and then it's a big procedure because you're not a citizen, resident. So that's your social security number and it is really important. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving good uh, oh. presentation on social security. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, so uh, I appreciate the it. next part of the presentation is about public safety, and uh, and Maria have done a great job to explain what big data is. Uh, her presentation. Sorry, uh, I was listening very carefully. And uh, big data and data analysis is uh, help. Will the Big data and data analysis market will grow by 17.5% by 2022, which is like $11 billion increase, whatever the current uh, value is. And uh, plus the data which they collect is not just used for Facebook or Twitter or anything else. Also intelligence agencies are also using these data to profile uh, people to help the public feel safe and secure. And uh, recently there was a movie called Edward Snowden. I don't know how many of you have seen that movie. That
that's related to this big data, how big data is involved in the intelligence agencies and how they use profiling people and how it's being used in a good way and bad way both. So we can debate on that, but that's the thing which, and now he's in Russia, he's uh, filed asylum and all that. Mm -hmm. So that's a separate story. And there are other uh, TV series also being uh, made on this one, like Person of Interest. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. Mm -hmm. Because they, they catch the person who is gonna commit crime in the future mm -hmm. based on his previous mm -hmm. uh, life mm -hmm. and what he has done. It's all big data, okay? Mm -hmm. So they process in the machine and they get social security on phone. And from that social security, they go and find the person. And sometimes in that, people have done identity thefts and all that. No problem at all. And so, and plus, I was gonna talk more about disasters, how uh, governments use big data to save people from disasters, but she has done uh, really well. <laughs> I have done social security, she has done that. Why are so, you here? <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> So uh, now he will give some few examples on how traffic laws are being made in and affecting us based on big data. What's mm -hmm. the movie name you talk about? Edward Snowden. Please write it down. Yeah. Edward and one Snowden. more example. Yeah, I just want to Google it. Snowden. I don't understand. Yeah. I think it's just Snowden. Uh, and uh, one more example uh, the first character of, of FBI he was back at, back in the days okay he was profiling people he didn't have those hard, hard drives and software no cell phones nothing like that so what he was doing, he was just collecting data, making files, even from president scandals he had. And he was blackmailing the presidents. So that's why he was, that's why the FBI, James Comey and all, they have a term nowadays, that 10 years, I think 10 or 12 years, they can't stay on that post for that long. But that person was like 20, 15, 20 years, I don't exactly. So he was also, and there's a movie on that too, he had. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> And it's based on real life. Uh, it's based on real life uh, events. Uh, uh, it's and he was the first FBI director. Please does that. Now Hussein. Hussein 2.0. Okay, I'll give you some examples that we are dealing with. Uh, every day with things we are dealing with every day. I like social security number most of us <laughs> don't have. We are dealing with the DPS and with our driving license. So I collected some information from the DPS uh, about the causes of accidents and uh, the and they and according to them the number one uh, codes for uh, accidents is distracted driving. And it's going to be defined as uh, driving while engaged in other uh, activity. Okay. So it could be as texting, uh, eating, uh, reading, or uh, sleeping. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> yeah. But they they say that it's the most important. It's texting. It's yeah. the most important code. And I think our friend Asman here is doing that a lot. By <laughs> driving. <laughs> So my parents always told me to imagine uh, working on a butcher machine uh, while driving, not on, on a car, because whenever I move my, my eyes away, I will cut my hand. Mm -hmm. That's other, the other thing, the second thing is speeding. It causes about 30% of the all accidents, and it costs about $40.4 billion every year. And the last one is uh, driving under influence. That shows 29% uh, of all accidents. So please, before drinking, just ask for a back uh, a pickup plan. Uber, Uber, yeah. Uber. Yeah. Uber. 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 for you, yeah. Thank you. All good. Thank you. Uh, one more, Hussein. One more. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just to <laughs> summarize. <laughs> Money. Yes, Bugs Bunny. Hey, what's up, <laughs> Just to summarize what they said, big data is a collection of information that is stored from our personal usage of uh, phones, laptops, TVs, even what we watch. Like, it's like uh, even now, like people, I still have people saying, "Oh, the iPhone X." It's like now they have our fingerprints. Now they're gonna take our faces. Mm -hmm. 
it's a it is an issue of privacy but then again if you look at it in the long term it is good for you know a lot of things uh, and as you said social security none of us have that and I hope we don't get that so it is a big hassle to have a social security number but it's also very useful within this country that help you to get, get a loan get cars uh, easy access to your own information rent apartment rent, rent apartments thank you for your information sir and I appreciate it. I second that. And uh, as we talked about public safety, all of us, mostly of all of us, have a license over here, and we know the hassle it is, because in if you've ever gone to us, uh, where they said you have to go for a six-hour class kind of thing, or you've given a test and you've studied for it for the online test, you have known that it shows some information about how much does it cost for a DUI for an. Uh, you know, for texting and driving. Now, texting and driving is completely banned in all of Texas, which is okay, I guess, for some people, in case an emergency call comes and you're on the highway. But again, that's a different case. That's a different case. But then again, it is also good, all right? And uh, pretty much that's about it. That's the summary. And they've given a, good, a lot of examples and everything. And I have that much to say. So give a big round of applause to everyone. Thank you.